What message are you sending to your players as they go into the international break? Oh, I'm very proud of them. Um, for that second half, I thought we showed some real grit there. Uh, we definitely didn't play our best that first half, and it was good to see play like Hulk I that second. You were a little worried coming here tonight, weren't you? You know what it's like as a player, and you knew there could be an ambush waiting for you here. Absolutely. I played here 20 years ago, still the same atmosphere. It's a hard place to come, um, so we're just glad we won, mate. This is something you don't get in Australia. How good is it? How good is it? Unbelievable. I mean, I'm going to be biased, but they're the best fans. Uh, yeah, they come, they support us. Away games, home games, uh, this is special. Yeah. Willie, your side today, you learned what about your side coming here to Castleford, trying to extend that great win, the best ever start to a Super League season. It was a degree of pressure on you. Under pressure, what did you learn? I learned... Um, as I said, mate, the, the first half we didn't play well at all. And I learned that we can still not have the greatest performances, but, you know, we're still capable of winning games. I think that's a good sign. So, you know, we played against a tough, gritty team tonight. Um, I thought Cass played extremely well in that first half. The way they moved the ball, I was happy the way we just in that second. Well, I know you impressed Phil Clark and John Wilkin, your side's performance. John, your thoughts? Yeah, I, th I thought physically Cass started really well, didn't he? Yeah. So at half-time, Willie, how important was it to address that physicality that Cass had really put on you? Yeah, they did. I thought they, they beat us in most areas in that first half. They, they moved the ball really well. Um, of course, there's a few problems, but I thought they were more physical than us. I thought they were, they were beating us in those little effort areas, and I was just pleased that we just in that second half. You've been here there for a third of the season. You've been here for a third of the season so far. What have you learned that you didn't know about the Super League competition before you arrived? You know, you played 10 games. What do you know differently now? Well, look, I've had a pretty good grasp on it um, from when I played previously, and I watched it very closely when I was in uh, Australia. So, um, yeah, we've got a great product here. We've got a great, a great brand of footy. Um, and there's no doubt we've got, a, we've got some great well, crowds. How do you get involved in this? I, I can't hear a thing. <laughs> how do you get the connection like this? The club and the fans are connected at Hulk Hour, aren't they? You can sense it. Oh, it's a special place. You know, this, this is what this place is about. Um, yeah, it's special, mate. It is special. I, I'll tell you, it is a rugby league, we know it. Uh, we, the other side of the city are doing it tough at the moment, that's not your concern. But when the rugby league is going well in Hull, rugby league in this country is going well. Yeah, absolutely. It always has been that way. Um, it's, you know, even the derby game, you know, obviously we, we won that, that game, but uh, that crowd, I've never experienced anything like it. It was unbelievable. Um, yeah, it's a special it's a special feeling. These guys definitely help the players and they're a huge support to us and, and they're, they're loyal. Um, we went through a, a rough patch here. We lost three in a row, but they stuck with us. It's a, it's a big year for you. You get a head coaching role for the first time. Andy Last has been announced as head coach on a permanent basis for Castleford as well. Tell me about the journey for you professionally this year so far. Sorry, mate. I missed... Your journey professionally yeah. as you become a head coach for the first time. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I took my time. Um, I did all the juniors and all that sort of stuff. But I was, I was very lucky to work with some exceptional coaches at, in Australia. Um, you never know if you are ready, but, you know, I, I always wanted to be a head coach and always wanted to come and coach over here. So um, I'm loving it. It's uh, obviously stressful and some tough times, but this is what makes it so special. Break. Break for the players, get a chance to re recover. You've done really well with injuries and suspensions, so that's not going to be an issue. But you've got a tough run of games coming up. You'll be well aware of that. Absolutely we do, mate. So the players have got a week off. It's a well earned week off. And then we've got three tough games when we come back. Starts with Huddersfield. Um, so, yeah, first and foremost, uh, the players need a break. You know, it's, it's, been, it's been a big ten weeks, so they'll get that. Um, and then I'll come back and uh, hopefully hit the ground running. OK, Willie. We asked Andy last when we had him here pre-game. He hoped to bring his side higher up the table. We asked him where they thought he thought they could finish. Where does this sir, where is this side capable of finishing this year? Oh look, well, I just want us to keep improving, but every 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 side strives to play semi-finals and we're a club that we want to be in the top four. We want to be a top four club in everything we do. Um, we're in the top four at the moment, but that doesn't make you a top four club. You need to be there year in, year out. So uh, we've got a vision of where we want to be. Um, the first 10 weeks have been have been good for us, um, but we've got a lot of work to do as well. And maybe a quick word on what you saw last night, because it's probably a point you're alluding to. We saw a champion side in St. Helens. Yeah. Under strength, do what champions do. Mate, well, it's so much respect for St. Helens. Um, what they did, they're under strength at the moment. They still had a few players out last night, but that was a St. Helens-like performance. That, um, you know, they're, they're going to be there again. They're about to at the end of the year.
But what I love about the competition this year, and I got asked a question before, what do I learn? It's a really tight competition. Um, anyone can beat anyone. You know, I know teams that, you know, yeah, anyone can beat anyone, that's my point. So if you're not on, and, and, and like tonight, we weren't on in that first half, well, Cass were playing better, um, and we had to turn the switch in that second. We're, we're going to probably have to let you go and, and, and say say something to all these fans here, because they're not going to be happy. unless, And they're not going to die down at the noise. Willie, thanks very Cheers, much mate. for joining us, thanks, mate. Thanks, thanks very much Thank for you, joining us. And you can go and say hello to all of them. The shirts are off, Willie.